Hi, Moni. Uh, thanks for listening to my presentation. My name is Emma, and I'm now in my second year of PhD. My research deals with the semantics of landscape terms in Chinese. And today, I'd like to present some metaphorical meanings of a Chinese compound word, Jianghu, by applying the NSM approach. First of all, I want to introduce its original concrete meaning. Uh, in Chinese, Jiang is a general term for rivers, and Hu covers the referential range similar to lake in English. And Jianghu, as a compound word, refers to all kinds of waterways. Uh, in modern Chinese, this meaning of Jianghu is often used in environmental contexts, and the most common collocation I identified in the corpus is Zheng Zhi Jianghu, which means dredging the waterways in order to keep waterways navigable. Um, well, this sense of Jianghu is still commonly used in modern Chinese. A uh, few metaphorical meanings of Jianghu have also derived in different contexts. The first metaphorical meaning of Jianghu I want to introduce is all corners of the world. Uh, on this page, I have listed the most common collocations uh, for this meaning of Jianghu. The first one, Zhou Jianghu, literally walk rivers and lakes. And the second one, Chuang Jianghu, literally battle through rivers and lakes. These two collocations share similar meanings, which is making a living wandering from place to place. And the verb in the second collocation, Chuang, uh, which can be translated into battle through or adventure in English. Uh, this indicates that there are many uncertainties in this place. So, people may lead an adventurous life and make an, uh, some efforts to live in this place. And the second sentence, Xiang Wang Yu Jiang Hu, uh, this is a famous sentence from Zhuangzi. It is a metaphor for giving up past persistence and embracing the world with a new self. And here are some corpus examples extracted from the Beijing language and the cultural university corpus. The first example, admiring the artistic creation environment of Shanghai, I came to Shanghai to try my luck. And second example, master, my name is Xiao Hu Zi. I have six siblings and I used to live in the West Village. I left home after my parents passed away and have been wandering from place to place ever since. And the third example, I will exchange identities with you. You go back home and spend a few years with my, our parents, and I will leave home and make a living wandering from place to place. All these examples indicate that Jianghu is a kind of place far away from someone's home and family and full of unknown and opportunities. People often want to go to this place as they want to achieve something or have a better life. And because this place is far away from home, People often think this place is kind of dangerous place. So here is my draft explication for this meaning of Jianghu. Jianghu too, all corners of the world, all places in a very big place. This very big place is far away from where someone often lives. Often, this someone does not know many people in this place. When someone wants to be in this place, this someone wants something good to happen to him or her. Because of this, this someone wants to do many things in this place. Other people can think about this place like this. It is far away from this someone's home. This someone wants good things to happen to him or her in this place. I don't know what will happen to this someone. Five things can happen to this someone. And the second metaphorical meaning of Jianghu can be translated into underworld in English. Uh, Professor Christopher Ri used to describe Jianghu as follows in his translation of the Book of Swindles. The rivers and lakes, as Jianghu might be translated literally, is a transitory space of indeterminate geography and fluid identities. A social milieu bounded on one extreme by the order of the state, and on the other, by the wealth beyond civilization. 
It is a place of refuge for political exiles, outlaws, martial artists, socially marginal figures, and people hiding from the law. It is also a realm of commerce held by merchants, petty entrepreneurs, civil service examinations candidates, officials heading to and from their posts, monks, medicine men, soothsayers, entertainers, medicants, and swindlers. The most co uh, common collocations and examples identified in the corpus include uh, the first one, Jianghu Ren Shi. Uh, literally, it means rivers and lakes people. This collocation is used to describe people living in the underworld and earns a living wandering from place to place. And the second collocation, Yi Tong Jianghu, this means unite uh, or lead the underworld. Uh, usually, there is no governing body in Jianghu's reign. So this collocation is often used to describe someone who's so capable that everyone else in Jianghu's reign will take orders from this person. Collocation three, Jianghu Dao Yi, moral principles of the underworld. And collocation four, Jianghu Guiju, rules of the underworld. These two collocations indicate that there are certain moral principles and rules in Jianghu Shui. And the sentence in example five, sorry brother, I can't break the rules, shows that people in Jianghu Shui tend to follow these rules or moral principles. Uh, collocation six, Jianghu Haojie, which can be translated into heroes in English. And collocation seven, Jianghu Xia Ke, which means swordsman or knight, shows how normal people think of people living in Jianghu Shui. Because Chinese martial arts fictions also have, uh, often have some popular hero images, Chinese people's stereotype of people living in Jianghu Shui is often heroes who would rob the rich bad people and give the money to the poor people. Therefore, people often think something good about these people living in Jianghu Shui. So here is my draft explication for these sons of Jianghu. Jianghu Shui, Underworld, place of a kind. There's no government in this place. People can do many things in this place. These things are not like things people often do. These things are bad. Because of this, bad things can happen to other people. People in this place often do things in one way. Other people often think something, uh, when someone, someone in this place do things in another way, other people often think something bad about this someone. Because of this, they want to do something bad to this someone. Because of this, something bad can happen to this someone. People often think this place like this. Some people in this place are very good people. These people often do something bad to bad people. Because of this, something bad can happen to bad people. I want this. Because of this, people often think something good about these people. And the next meaning of Jianghu, I think it can be a metaphorical use of Jianghu's ray, or can be a potential new meaning of Jianghu identified in the modern Chinese corpus. Uh, it refers to a group of people who belong to the same profession or share the same interests. Corpus examples include Dian Shi Jianghu, means TV circle, Fang Di Chan Jianghu, real estate circle, Wei Qi Jianghu, gold circle, Dian Shang Jianghu, e commerce circle. And the sentence in example five neither the best defensive player nor the defending NBA champion can break the rules of NBA game shows that there are also rules in Jianghu 4 that people need to follow. This is the same with component D in explication of Jianghu 3 and the world. And when talking about people in one particular circle, other people often think of these people as the same kind because they normally be belong to the same profession, work in the same industry or share the same interests. So there's something in common among these people. Therefore, my draft explanation for this sense of Jianghu is as follows. Jianghu 4, circle, something of a kind. 
People are part of this something. These people can do the same things. These people know the same things. All these people do things in one way. When someone in this something do things in another way, other people often think, think something bad about these people. Because of this, they want to do something bad to this someone. Because of this, something bad can happen to this someone. People often think these people like this. These people are the same kind. Uh, in addition to the above mentioned meanings, I also want to introduce very briefly uh, the following two uses of Jianghu. First, it can also be used as a modifier to describe somebody or something that is coerced, vulgar, or bold and uh, unconstrained. The following are two examples. The first sentence, although the words are vulgar, but they make sense. This sentence indicates that also Jianghu 5 has some uh, negative connotations. People can still have uh, good feelings towards it. And the second example, I haven't shaved in two or three days, and I look pretty rackish. Also indicate that Jianghu 5 can be used to refer to a sloppy or shaggy status of a person. So overall, Jianghu 5 means somebody or something that is vulgar or bold and unconstrained. And it can be used to modify all kinds of things, people and people's behaviors. Uh, even though it has a negative connotation, people may have still have good feelings towards this word. And the reason is likely because it invokes a heroic image mentioned earlier in Jianghu 3 and the word. And the last one I want to mention today is the term Lao Jianghu, uh, which means wandering or experienced person. Uh, its literal meaning is old rivers and lakes. In the first example below, among those who have worked only for a year, 46.21% are diligent and hardworking employees. Well, the same kind of employee accounts for 64.95% of experienced workers with 10 years of service. The employees are divided into new employees and experienced workers uh, based on the number of the years they have worked for the same company. And in the second example, a famous soccer coach uh, called Bara Mitino Novik. Uh, he is a very famous football manager who has managed in five consecutive World Cups with five different teams. And uh, he is described as Lao Jianghu here because people believe that he is able to help Chinese soccer team to perform well. So overall, Lao Jianghu refers to a veteran or experienced person. So to wrap up, Jianghu was originally a concrete word in Chinese, referring to all kinds of waterways. But with its use in different contexts, it has developed a various of metaphorical meanings. And it can be seen from its metaphorical meanings, especially Jianghu 3 and the word. Jianghu is not only a polysemy, but also a cultural loaded word reflecting the unique Chinese martial arts culture. Uh, at this stage, I'm still uh, collecting Kova's data and trying to revise my explications. So please bear with me if there's anything unclear in my speech today. And uh, all suggestions and comments will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.